there is no guardrails. If he's got the Senate and the House, there's yeah. no guardrails. And again, Democrats, had you voted, Ted Cruz would be gone. Had you voted, had you voted, we would still have the Senate and or the House. Had you voted. So you guys are sitting there, you 15 million who just decided, ah, you know, she's he's she's going to win. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the dystopian hellscape that you brought upon the nation. Uh, oh, and it's your right, too. It's your right. You deserve <laughs> the government you elect. You elect. Um, so, uh, if he's got no guardrails, which means we have to put our faith in guys like, like Josh Hawley and Lauren Boebert. Um, uh, what, okay, so help me. Help me through this. I need some help. Find an upside and go. Four years. <laughs> no, uh, well, he can't run again, right? He can't unless it's unless two terms. Well, unless he changes that. Which... So, all right. So check this out. All right. So he's got the House and the Senate. He also, uh, I believe that I believe that there's a reason that Lindsey Graham in one golf game went from he's the worst thing that could ever happen to America to he's my guy. I think I believe that Trump uh, played the Epstein uh, Diddy thing and has videotapes on everybody. I has uh, that has been circulating early on because yep. it, the whole his hotels in Russia, the hotel in Russia, uh -huh. um, his his he's Putin has it, yeah, and and the uh, he's fascinated with KGB spy techniques. Yep. So and then all of the people in Congress that go on to these international uh, uh -huh. junkets, they stay at a Trump Plaza or a Trump Hotel, and or or what a or Putin, yeah, or, or yeah, and then he's got cameras in the room yep. now because, like you had said, not I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but for somebody to sit there and go, that man is a he is he's a he's a Hitler, he's the worst thing, he's a joke, the Ted Cruz stuff, yeah, to the going. Donald Trump is my guy within what thirty days or sixty yeah. days. Lindsey Graham literally one golf game said he see, he's the worst thing to happen to America. I know Joe Biden. I love Joe Biden. Say what you about Joe Biden. He's a friend of mine. Uh, and and Trump is the most dangerous thing to ever happen like, to America. Boom, watch that one. Day. Yeah. yeah. So he's on the scrutiny. Goes here's what I got of you. Here's what I got on you. And the guy goes, oh shit. Because there's two. Went. Yeah. There's <laughs> yeah, two. Exactly. There's too much flip. -flopping. Lindsay. Lindsay would <laughs> a, lot, a lot more style with Lindsay. <laughs> Too much flip flopping so quickly and so easily and coming right out there without any hesitation. Going. And, and you know he has nothing on Liz Cheney or Adam Kinzinger. Like that's right. like if someone yeah. comes out against Harding and Trump, you go, oh, that guy's clean. Yeah. You know, yeah. why? Because because there's nothing to um so how do we get out of this? We don't unless some people step up in Congress and stop him. We don't even have all we're going to have is Democrats bitching and whining yeah. and nothing getting done. Right. Well, um, now, now, the problem is, here's the other thing. If you guys didn't even think about this, again, thank you, 15 million Democrats who just refused to vote. Um, he can now put in, because he's, he's going to get every judge on every appellate court, every federal judge approved. Mm -hmm. He've got, he, he, Eileen Cannon is such a bad judge that that she was reversed by three different appellate courts and Jack Smith tried to get her off the case. She's now going to be attorney general, Eileen Cannon. Yeah. So, which means, she, and she'll, whatever he's got on her, she'll go, she'll do anything for Trump. This is where I've lost my faith in America. Yeah. I, I, I love this country more than anything. My family's been here 400 years. We did, we don't own shit. We didn't do anything. We were just cogs in the wheel drinking with the natives. I'm guessing that's what we did. <laughs> we didn't own anything, but I will say this. I have, my faith in America is, is at the lowest point it's ever been because you Democrats knew what was at stake. You fucking knew it. You fucking knew it and you let it go and you let it go. We'll see you next week on Cars with Titus. Yeah, yeah, and yeah that's well, it. Yeah, yeah we're going to compare the uh, we're going to we're going to pair the Rivian with the uh, Tesla S. We're going to do, but we're going to do a comparing because I got a Rivian. We're going to do that. We're actually going to do an episode like that. I don't think you have it in you to not feel the oh. the oppressive author authoritarian government and not speak out about it. Well, the problem is if we keep this podcast up, I will feel the oppressive authoritarian <laughs> government physically feel it. I, I just want to go on record as saying uh, I've been with you on the last two horrible American tragedies. Yeah. And I, so I think I can't be friends with you anymore because I was with you on 9-11. Right. <laughs> he said this last night. When 9-11 happened, Titus, all oh, what the, did I say? Every, every single studio shut down. 
in California except for us. And we went into work and he said, because America needs to laugh right now. So that was the first American tragedy. And then last night- You can make it sound better than that. I took everybody <laughs> aside and I was like, hey guys, listen, we're, <laughs> we're kind of, and, and then I said, and we're going to do an episode about terrorism. And everyone looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the other one was last night, uh, we were together with Zach, yep. and I was like, "I'm with you now on on the uh, the downfall of democracy." <laughs> I go, "Where were you with COVID?" Maybe it's us together. Yeah, so, that might so, be a cloud. So are, maybe there's a plane going to crash into this building now so, that we're sitting no, here hanging I'm, out. I'm figuring in two years I'm going to move, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not with you when the launch codes get <laughs> get activated. Yeah, when the war games. Gets maybe, in. We should, maybe we should just become like uh, explorers and just go up in the mountains <laughs> and get it. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I'm. I'm. Um, it seems very bleak. It seems really bleak, bleak right that's now. The, that's the word. But I it's was a different for. kind of bleak from 2016 when he got elected, and you're like, well, what is this guy going to do? I mean, he's completely incapable of doing the job. Now that we see he's incapable of doing it, and he's, what he wants to do, it gets there's much more bleakness attached to it because yeah, because we know we know what he's capable of doing now because he's shown us and said it and kept saying it, and nobody believed him, and now it's like. Well, like you had said, it's like, I, I keep going back to the quote, you deserve the government that you elected. Right. Yeah, yeah. So don't sit there and go, right. can you believe what's happening? And I'm like, yeah. yes. Yeah, you elect the government you, you deserve. Yes, yes, you did it. And if you don't elect the government you deserve, if you don't vote, you get the fucking government you deserve. Yeah. You get the government you deserve. Guess what, guys? God bless you. But, you know, we, I actually, you know, I read, here's the thing what I do. And, and everyone goes, it's homework. I get the pamphlet and I read the amendments and I read, okay, who who backs this person up? All right, what is that real? Because sometimes it'll, it'll be like, this person backed up by the police, this one's backed up by the fire department, this one's backed up by the unions, this one's backed, this one's backed up by Bob's uh, uh, Bob's pack. Yeah. You know, like, Bob's not, okay, I'm not voting for Bob's pack because I don't know who Bob <laughs> is and then what the fuck is his pack? So I vote for the guy who's backed up by a bunch of other people. And I read it because I fucking believe in democracy. And if you don't believe in democracy, you get the democracy that you deserve. You know, but you know what you gotta do? You gotta get some good clothing to, to survive the Armageddon that's yeah. about to come. Well, we're dressing like ninjas today. Yeah, man. Something. I don't know. We all got black, you know, because we gotta hide against walls and shit now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys on that podcast? Nope. <laughs> we just blend in. 